Good morning, y'all. New day. And what am I going to do? Um, I'm going to Ajo. In about an hour. And I'm going to look into getting that dog. Maybe. And Well, honestly, I'm going to see if what the return policy is. Because, <laughs> you know, it's it's a big dog, and I don't know what his history is. I tried to call, but there was no answer, and so, you know, I'll kind of find out that way um, uh, when I get there. And not it won't it, it won't be a wasted trip because you know it's a Sabbath, and I'm going to go pick me up a a special dinner. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but um, I'll think of something to do while I'm there if it's, if I don't get the dog. So, I've kind of had imaginings of what it would be like, and uh, people, uh, I just realized, see, I say that, people say, um, it generally only takes one person to say something to me that kind of makes me doubt myself. And what I'm doing. And that's what yesterday or last night's video. And you should know that by the end of the day, and if I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning, and I make a video at 6 o'clock at night, or 5 o'clock, whatever time that was, I am really tired. I should never make a video late in the day. <laughs> because no matter what I say, it sounds really, um, it, it sounds a lot different, doesn't it? I'm definitely a morning person because I did get up at three o'clock this morning. It's enough sleep if you go to bed at eight thirty, nine o'clock. And I can't, it, it's just kind of, maybe a dog will change that routine. I don't know. Um, I know that I'm sitting too much. And I know why I'm sitting too much, because it doesn't hurt so bad when I just sit. <laughs> um, so, you know, and then we go down that rabbit trail again about all that. And I'm thinking, I, you know, I did have this thought. I kept avoiding going to a chiropractor, because I really, I, I feel like if I, maybe if I had an adjustment, or maybe if I just laid on a board, I mean, like, uh, inverted, like hanging from the board, and I have the board, I just haven't got up the chutzpah <laughs> to put it on the bumper of my truck, because that's the perfect angle, because I am at an intersection here, and it's not like they're driving by at 55, they're driving by at 5, <laughs> so they look out, and they're like, that woman is a strange character. Which brings me to, you know, I don't know what happened. Um, used to people stop by. Granted, most of them was men, because there ain't many women living out here on their own. Um, there's, there's a few widows. You know, they came out with their husbands, and the husband passed, and so they stayed. And, um, but for the most part, it, it's, it's men. Because, uh, you know, it's kind of harsh, and I realize that um, it is harsh. It's very dry, and um, and I'm off-grid, you know, so that makes a difference, too. Um, and don't think that I, I am not complaining. I kind of like it. <laughs> it's a challenge. Keeps me on my toes. Um, so, um, I'm anticipating mail. And I'm also anticipating an Amazon order coming in. And they keep saying it's coming Saturday. I'm like, you just fooling me. I don't think UPS comes out here on Saturday. Maybe it's coming through the mail. But anyway, I got a pole with the string on it. So I'm going to get rid of that mistletoe. So anyway, back to the, all the men's out here. So that was who was stopping by. Sorry, squirrel. <laughs> That was who, you know, they'd stop by and just talk and stuff. 
before Christmas, and now nobody stops and talks to me. I'm like, what happened? I was, I wasn't, it wasn't, I don't understand. So anyway, I get, you know, it's just, well, you saw from the, the driving to get water. I'm pretty far distance from the office. Now, I can go down there and socialize. So, it's not like I'm living a hermit life. I, I do have a choice. And, but, uh, anyway, back to the laying on the board. Squirrel. <laughs> when I fell on my, out of that chair, it rolled out from under me. Um, I know I knocked something out of place. And a couple of years back, I was staying at my mama's house. And I wanted to do this inversion thing. And the only board I could find in the house was my mama's ironing board. <laughs> and I used it. And I remember thinking, oh, oh, and I prayed, oh, oh, Abba, don't let me. Don't let me bend my mama's ironing board. She'd be real upset with me. And because it wasn't her old ironing board, it was one of them new ones. And it was, I didn't bend it. But a lot of the pain was relieved over a, I don't know how many times I did it. And the thing is, is that when I first do it, it makes it hurt worse. And then that pain goes away. I also have a belt. They called it something. I've had it for years. And it's only, it's about this wide. And it goes around your hips and... It's it's very uncomfortable to sit in. It's only good if you're standing um, because of you, you put it low on your hips and it uh, is that your sciatic or something. But it holds all that in place so that it's. But anyway, it's um, it's it's kind of uncomfortable to wear. When I really need it is like if I'm going to the store. <laughs> I just realized, whoa, rabbit trail. Maybe I should call it the rabbit report. Um, anyway, um, but you got to drive there. So I got to sit in it and then get to the store. And that, cause that's when I would really need it is when I'm out walking around. So back to the dog. It would make me, make me do that. I would get out and then I would see people, which brings me to that little fear I have because I don't know this dog. And I have to go through that anxiety of, uh, what if it don't like other dogs? <sighs> Trust. It always comes back to that. And I do. Y'all were so kind to me. And yes, I have, you know, that's the thing. There's so much about the rapture on both sides. And I don't listen to the other side very often. As a matter of fact, I never even heard about the other side till recently, really. Um, well, and see, that's, that's the other thing. One person, one person can say something. And see, that's the thing. If I hold you in high regard, which I tend to do, because I, I tend to think everybody's smarter than me. Especially, you know, people that read and study or, or they're married to somebody that reads and studies. And that's how they learned it. And then they tell me. So I think it must be, must be true. And yes, I should have searched it out for myself. And I kind of sort of did. But I am also always, not always, but, you know, I look to people who are smarter than me. That's what they do. They study these things and, and then tell me. And this morning, and if you haven't watched J.D. Farag on Job 1, he's starting that study. It was really kind of awesome, which has nothing to do with what I'm saying. <laughs> but what does is I got an email from somebody, you know who you are. And they recommended another channel of a guy that I do, I have watched, and um, was talking about, I, this must have been the video where I was talking about a husband, 
and really, um, you, you know, all that did was solidify that, yes, that's, um, um, the two becoming one. And that way you have one mind. And see, that's, I kind of feel like I'm over here with half a mind. <laughs> it would be nice <laughs> to um, have someone to run these things off of. So, that's why you're hearing all this. So, imagine what, if I had a husband, that poor husband, all this. See, he'd be hearing all this. And he'd be kind of rolling his eyes. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> many, many times. A lot. <laughs> I say that for Sarah, my oldest daughter, because she's the one that was laughing at me. And I don't even know she watches my videos. She doesn't comment. But I know she, I know she's out there somewhere. She told me. But, you know, it's every day. And who has time for it every day? Um Apparently, some of you watch me every day because you never know what's going to happen. So, um, or what I'm going to say. So, um, anyway, um, composure. I remembered. I didn't just remember. Let's see. Let me see if I find it. I actually wrote it down. Where'd I write it? It ain't going to do you no good, Betty, if you don't know <laughs> where you wrote it down. Anyway, um, I think that's Camilla. Camilla's always, she'll just come on and say, oh, look, here it is. Composure. And Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. That was J.D. Farad. And I thought, yeah. Let's, let's, let's see what it says. I'm still struggling with my new Bible because uh, the Hallelujah Scriptures, because they put, and I realized, hello, I haven't even read Proverbs all the way through in here. I need to do that. That's, that's where we get our wisdom. That's where I get my wisdom. Um, three, five, and six. Trust in Yahweh with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. Well, duh. <sighs> There's just so much I don't understand, you see. Know him in all your ways. And he makes all your paths straight. So do not be wise in your own eyes. That's going down into seven. Revere Yahweh and turn away from evil. Um, so, yeah. There's a lot of stuff I don't understand in my simple <laughs> simpleness. <laughs> Which always makes me laugh. Men are like, women are so complicated. Really? Am I? Maybe I am. No, I'm just ADD. Squirrel. <laughs> so, um, lean not on your own understanding. And there's another scripture. I think it's in Peter. Don't be afraid of what's frightening. I just, I don't know why that, it, it's kind of like the last few months. I keep thinking, yeah, it's frightening. <laughs> but don't be afraid. There are frightening things. And sometimes just, and, and making a decision to get a big dog. I know y'all excited to see. Because, boy, will my YouTube channel change if we get a dog. And then we'll have to come up with a name. I don't know what that'll be. But he's big furry dog. If that happens, we'll see. So... We don't call today. Tomorrow's the Sabbath. But it starts tonight. It's funny. I kind of start in the day. I'm like, I get all excited. Shabbat Shalom. <sighs> so, <laughs> I have just been all over the place. And thanks, y'all, for letting me just invade your day.
I guess it's about lunchtime over there on the East Coast, and uh, still early on the West. People I know over there ain't even out of bed yet. <laughs> it's like 1030. <sighs> I'm so excited. I'm excited, and I'm, I'm just uh, trying to remain composed. I have to use the word a lot or I'm going to lose it again. Composure. I need to look that word up. Study it a little bit. Composure. I, was, I spent a lot of time in my life being, what's the opposite of composure? De decomposed. I don't think so. But there are kin. Um, I, I got that kind of smarts. I know my words. I don't remember my words, but I know my words. Okay, y'all. Let's get this show on the road. I love y'all.